This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Roman. Go to GetRoman.com forward slash Modern Rogue for a free online visit and a free month of treatment. Yeah, to get to treat yourself with the treatment. All right, so Anthony and I look kind of cool. Uh, he looks like he's about to kidnap Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> I and, look like uh, we're about to solve a mystery while smoking blunts. <laughs> I was about to say. I was going for the dude. The schwood abides. That's, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> We are here at the Austin Historical Weapons Guild with Anthony and you guys. Kyle. So we're going to be learning medieval wrestling today, and it's called ringing. What, what's the deal? Are we going to fly up off the ropes? It's just this idea of wrestling with a very martial intent behind it. I'm passionately good at it, so I brought Kyle into this, and he's going to be way better answering any of those questions than I am. Are we in feudal Japan? Are we in, <laughs> are we in medi medieval Europe? You're going to be in the 15th and 16th century Germany, which stems from all the way from about Denmark all the way down to... Rome, essentially the Holy Roman Empire under Emperor Maximilian, that kind of time frame. And was this a martial art that people would use like at the bars and on the streets or was this just for the, the, the upper class? Well, there's actually two major divisions in Ringen, but they overlap. So there's Kampfringen and there's Geslinfringen. Geslin Ringen is friendly wrestling. It would be done amongst nobles. There's even a famous uh, wrestling match in, at the Cloth of Gold between Henry VIII and the King of France where Henry VIII lost and it just broke everything down at that point. He broke off an alliance and everything just went down the hill. This definitely sounds like a WWE plot line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sounds kind of awesome. It's like, I want to hear some Pantera when I walk in and be like... <laughs> there are definitely moves that you're going to say, hey, that looks like professional wrestling because wrestling is wrestling throughout the ages. Wrestling has happened since feudal times, since prehistory. I mean, there's cave paintings where people are hooked up with each other. So what's the other version of wrestling? non-friendly one is war wrestling. Friendly wrestling, my job is to put him on the ground as safely as I can. Safely being the medieval version, which is if he's dislocated or a broken finger or I've ripped his hair out, that's friendly. War wrestling's job is to essentially, instead of trying to batter him with my hands, I'm going to use the ground. But also war wrestling was for the nobility who would be covered in armor. So you can't really bash a guy to death with your bare hands. So you use the armor and his weight against him to drive him into the ground. There's a, like, what, a lot of eye gouging and, and fish hooking. And oh yeah, there's tons of that. Can I get a certification where I can put it on a business card that just says Jason Murphy war wrestler? <laughs> That would be badass. Right? <laughs> Pay me $200, I'll make that happen. I'll, nice. be, I'll be right that's back. A, that's All a right. steal. Actually, can we talk about the outfit for a little bit? I, yeah. I assume that functionally- I'm glad somebody said something. There, there's, a, there's a reason that we ended up with this as the uniform. Is it intimidation? Because it's, it's working. <laughs> Context is everything, right? In our era, we wear very little clothing compared to a medieval person. Medieval person's wearing four to five layers up because it's colder than, it also shows status. Also, you couldn't wash your overclothes, so your underclothes which is basically what we wear now, would be washed and then you'd wear this over the top. And the more decorative it was, the higher status. In medieval, people like to be able to see the difference between like a noble and a peasant. So if I walk in like this, people know I have money. So if we get into a fight, they're more likely to kidnap me and ransom me home versus you, they're gonna kill and feed you to the pigs. <laughs> the idea of clothing as a security mechanism, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought of it that way. So, so none of this is necessarily functional for the wrestling part. It totally is because this creates grab points. So the pants are depicted as being grabbed. This is depicted being grabbed. They even grab the cod piece in some place and pick a guy up by it. How do we begin? I remember when we did a pro wrestling episode of Scam School, the biggest thing was falling safely. So we'll do some basic falls. I know that you've had some practice like parkour and stuff like that. So I'm going to take you from the beginner and move you quickly all the way up as if I was teaching you at, at the school that yeah. I work at. Let's dive in. Get that war wrestler card printed. I'm ready. <laughs> So that way and face toward me, and yep. then we crisscross applesauce, okay. set on your butt. The first thing we do is we just learn how to keep our chin tucked, curve our back, because we're creating ourselves into a ball. If you imagine if you're a square and you roll across the ground, every hard point is impact. So I have people grab their feet, and then we simply just roll straight back, and we roll straight up. Now, tuck your chin in, curve your spine, make yourself a ball, and go more violently. There you go. There we go. All Wrestling right. is fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Two more. Go. Okay, so the biggest lesson for there is curving your back, keeping your chin tucked in, because if your head hits the ground, we always imagine that's concrete, and that's bad. Next part is we stand up, and we take a squat. Same thing. We're going to tuck our chin, grab our knees now, and then we're going to roll straight back, and we come 
right back up into a squat. Oh, nope, not so much. Now, <laughs> if you can't do that, just tuck your foot and just get up any way you can, because that's not the important part. And do another one. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now we stand up. So the biggest rule for falling safely is get as close to the ground as you can before you hit it. So we start from standing, then we're going to reverse the process. We drop all the way down, curl, roll, come right back up to all standing. Right, so down, curl, roll, and then come back up. Yep. Sort of. Sort of. Yes, good. So now we just start from here. And yes, you can do the Dracula if you need to. This was Mortal Kombat and too. And but... the easiest way to build proficiency with this is close your eyes. You're okay. trying to use visual cues. Close your eyes and just feel your balance. So go. Okay. Look at that. One of the things we suggest are if you're right-handed, you're right-legged. So you just go down. And as you come up, tuck the right foot underneath and stand up like that. So the idea is being able to come up and toward an opponent. So here? Yeah. Right? I can... Move out. So, okay, so you are, you're, you're, you're leaning on that one then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back and then here. Yes, drive forward now. I put mean, you, I put can't. your knee on the ground. Put your knee on the ground. Yep. Keep coming forward. Okay. Drive your hip through and then up. So you haven't done this at all. Yeah. I know you're like hiding in the background, but you have to do this too. Oh, I haven't? No, yeah, no. <laughs> I got it, man. I got it. Oh, he doesn't even need thing. <laughs> doesn't even need to bring the other foot under. I mean, I can. The important part is the fall. The get up is anything that you can use to get. I agree. The important thing is remember it's not a contest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Would you like to see a game we play with this? So he crosses his hands, Dracula style, closes his eyes, and then I am going to randomly shove on him and he has to roll out. Okay. So <laughs> and he comes right back up. Okay. Did you do that slap because you saw it on wrestling? Yeah, were you selling that? I did. <laughs> Should I do that? Is that yep. better? Yeah. So the idea is to replicate if I was just randomly shoved somewhere, being able to do this instinctively. That's why we close our eyes. You don't want to be looking around thinking. The idea is just to be able to do it as you just need it. Okay, you're good. I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Would you like to go next? Yes. The biggest thing is remember to, to just squat down and roll out. Yes. When, when you push, squat, roll. Squat and roll. And okay. Kick, but lean forward as you do. If not, it's going to suck. Okay. okay. Ready? There you go. I'm gonna roll right back up. Oh, I used my. That's perfectly fine. Anything that gets you back up. Okay. So here. Ready for harder? Yeah. Okay. So close your eyes because it's gonna be random whenever. Oh! <laughs> I did it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely bonked your noggin. So have you ever had the lesson "What hurts teaches"? It's an old German saying. So now tucking your chin becomes car. very important. There you go. Ooh, wow. nice. there we go. There we go. All right. One more. Okay. <laughs> so I, I didn't want. I, I, I'm I done. wanted to do just the one. I passed. Okay. okay. Nah. There you go. All right. Good. All right. So we're going to teach you the basic somersault. We're going to yet again get up on our knees. We're going to take our fists, put them on the ground. I go here, put my head on the ground, roll, and come up. Perfect. Beautiful. So the next part is you do it from standing. So you just go from right here and then come immediately right back up. You don't have to punch the ground. You can open your hands, but I hyperextend my wrist very easily. Wow. So I use fists. If I was teaching you to do this at our school, we then add more difficulty into it. So we put it as part of a series. So sprawl, come up, and there we go. But we don't have to do this, Yeah, right? no, that's, uh, what's next? <laughs> cool, cool story. So the next part is we do exactly what we did a second ago. I just shove him, and there he goes. Hi. Got him, okay. <laughs> now this one, I'm gonna take this away from you. You got it. It's just all the parts together. Yeah, oh, there, there we, we go. go. There we go. All right, your turn. So the hardest is whenever someone pops you. Oh, okay? yeah. You wanna do that one? Sure. Okay, cool, so. Because that initial, oh, disorientation, and yeah. then going into it. And it is disorienting. So the idea is we always practice this really friendly, but then it's like you don't know what to do whenever you get clocked or you get shoved. So then you have to be able to practice it. And this is an easy way we do it. Eventually we have it where we are pushing this guy all eight directions. His eyes are closed. He I, doesn't know which direction it's gonna doesn't come Doesn't know. We start with a big Whoa. iPad and we shove him and then we just run up and just football check him and he has to fly. Wow. We well, got some basics of rolling. You want to start throwing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the most important thing in German wrestling is you have to unbalance the other person 
before you attack. So they even nickname the beginning stances here and here, scales, because as you look at my body very symbolically, I look like a pair of balanced scales. So if he's a pair of scales this way, then I need to get the scales to do this. Okay. Or I need him to do something like that in order to throw him. Because if you just go out there and just try to immediately go for a throw, he's just gonna immediately counter this because he has no reason not to. You haven't hurt him or distracted him enough to be able to throw him. If he has to focus on his balance, then he can't focus on countering your moves. Mm -hmm. Yes, because there's three points of time in the German martial arts, Vor, Indes, and Knock. Vor is before, so I'm taking the initiative. I want him to act in the knock. So if I'm going, he's reacting. Okay? Right. So if he's having to say, I gotta catch my balance by taking a step, then I'm a step ahead of him. Indes is instantaneous. So like if we are about the same size, we have to work in the instantaneous. If I'm way bigger than this guy, I can just manhandle him around because this is war wrestling. You don't get to pick who you fight. Right. Maybe some 300 pound behemoth. So if you're small, you have to work in the knock. So. If I'm huge and I go to attack him, he's going to slip that attack and then he will attack me. So these are the very basics because they acknowledge weight classes. Um, I believe it's the Glasgow Codex is like, in friendly wrestling, size always matters. In war wrestling, it's the most cunning. So let's do our basic stance, which is scales. So in scales, the hands are pulled back, the weight is balanced, or I'm like this. The reason the hands are pulled back in modern wrestling, you'll see them get down low like this and start to reach out. The reason this is bad is because of this. Okay. That's allowed in friendly wrestling. Got it. Okay? Also, if he reaches, he's reaching out, I can grab his hair. I can grab his beard. I can grab his collar. You do this in armor, you don't want to bend over with 60 pounds of pack on your back. So we're upright, our hands are in close, and we move in. My goal is to get lower than his shoulders so that I can then come in and grab him. So the first thing you want to do is grab. That's Yes, you want okay. to seize them. Because if you're not grabbing a hold of them, you're either circling, or if it's war, you're running or finding a weapon. Ringan is never your preferred go-to form of combat. It if is, you could get a weapon, that's the better deal. It is the core of all martial principles. It is the last line of defense. Like in any knife culture, there's not a lot of ground fighting because as soon as I get him on his back, it's all over. for a knife, we're over. Yeah. We're going to start with just a basic position. We're both going to be feet even, and we're both going to be in a 50-50 hold. And then I'm grabbing a hold of his elbow gusset, just like this. Okay. Our feet are even, we're squatted down a little bit, and we're in the balance. Let's see you two get into this right. position. Uh, so what, like, uh, grab. What is it we do it like that? that and then, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> one shoulder, one elbow. Okay. Squat down a little bit. So this is your basic. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to teach you how to unbalance somebody. So watch me and him, all right? Pass. So we're here. <laughs> on it. When we're right here, my feet are in a defensive position because if I put my foot here, I'm giving him something to attack. Mm. Got it. Because now all his targets are even. So everything's technically defended exactly the same. I need him to move. So I'm going to step off this way like that. And you see how it drags him with me. So if I drag like that. Yes. Now, okay. whenever I step, see how I'm facing this way? I'm going to be facing the wall over there. You're going to take this foot. Yep. Try to step on my foot. Good. Now do that again with both feet. Okay, got it. Ready and go. See how you drug him? Yep. Oh, yeah. If you step back, you're then, making then me you extend. you have to, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. And the other thing I'm gonna add, the movement should start at your waist. Okay. Oh. So you're okay. stepping back, yeah. yeah. Oh, like that feels yeah. different for me. Because you're pulling with your core. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here, you give it a try. Okay. Okay, yeah. One more time. Hold on, watch me. So, take that foot, try to step on my foot. Go. Oh, yeah. See that? You can feel the difference for sure. Yeah. Good. I'll just keep your chest square to where he's coming from. You should oh. be facing that way. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can so move I both feet. Step and pivot. Yeah. yeah no, there's, there's oh, like, wow. I'm yeah. totally just you swept You can feel in. it, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, the first thing we use to move them is our body. The second thing is arms. Everyone gets that backwards. You try to muscle instead of use their weight. So as I step back, now I'm going that way while he's going forward. Okay. Like a matador. Then the bull go by. Now I'm going to twist as I go. You see how this is turning him? Yeah. And see how now I'm squared up with him. He's going that way, I'm going this way. And if this was football, this is a bad day for him. So I'm doing the same step out, but as I step out, I'm turning. Punch with one arm, pull like you're pulling a bow back. Okay. All right, do that with each other. All right. Uh, you were on the inside. You're pulling. Yeah. Nope, yeah. There you go, there, there we go. go. Okay. okay. Good. Oh, that felt very effective. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 
that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that seemed more like you just pulled on the yeah. one. Yeah. Pull, push. Yeah. Yeah. Use your hips. When you grab, motorcycle into it. Oh, okay, just gather yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So the basic of unbalancing them, now they're prepared for the throw. I have a hold of him and I've stepped off and I've, un I've turned his shoulders. His line of force is that way. Yet again, always break it down to football. If he was charging, he'd be charging that way. I'm charging through him. So now I have him stiff armed out here. His weight is on that leg, so he can't step that way. So I bring the leg up and I just simply bring him oh. to here. Okay. Now notice I'm not here. Yeah. Because he can get you. Yeah. Yes. Also, <laughs> remember, if I'm in a lot of kit, I don't want to bend over at all because then I have all that weight on top of me. Now, I am not, no, I am simply, if you imagine there is a pole coming out of his butt, I'm just stepping on that pole. Turn. Got it. And that's it. A lot like BJJ. Yeah. You yeah. get the foot in the middle and then you twist him. Yeah. Very much. Right hand on the shoulder. Oh, okay. Yep. Left hand on elbow. Okay. Yeah. Get to the position. Oh, was that it? <laughs> yeah, it felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's unbalanced, so I practice getting to here first, oh. then here. <laughs> so punctuate it, make it get all the way done with the first move before you move on yeah, to the second one. Don't skip one. ahead. Now step behind him, twist. That's it. <laughs> you got nothing. Yeah. There, there's there's no counter move. It feels yeah. like two feet. One two, and then push. And and is it? Oh, it's like that. Yeah. No, it's not a little dainty step. It's okay, step so. in like you're stomping a bug. <sighs> yes. Oh, oh. Yes. Ah, yeah, 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 that was great. Like, there's really no stopping it, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the next one is going to look very familiar, but it's a staple. As I'm here, and I step out, and I go here. Now, he's not coming with me very much. He's kind of keeping his weight back. He doesn't want to be here. So I'm going to use that against him. This hand comes down, snag, and then drive. Oh, so he's actually an unwilling cooperator. Unwilling participant. Yeah, yeah. This goes from the exact grab, step, same, twist. Same step. The first one, I'm more compliant, I go with him. So the yeah. first one again, I'm here, I follow with him, we're going here, I'm staying together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this puts my weight here, so when he steps through, I come over. Right, right. This one, I'm sitting back. He does the same opening setup, I try to pull away. Wow, gotcha. Okay. And he feels, in his shirt through my hands, that, that second one, as he goes away, I sit back here, which means there's no weight on this leg now. So attacking it means that it's not going to do anything. And I get to do something. I've given up my action. So Kyle, for you, is uh, the ideal attack, the behind the leg, take him down, and if he doesn't come in, this is your, your second play mm -hmm. to try to get, but you really want the first one, that's your so we like preferred attack? We like to do low percentage failure ones, okay. but also low risk. If I move out here and he steps his foot back or something as I go here, I'm right here. Versus if I bring him out here and then I try to like shoot in and then he sprawls, this is bad. Right. Yeah. Eventually we divide the opponent up in the low, middle, and high. Uh huh. So as I'm here and I take, make him step here, I'm attacking the low, set up the high. Wow. Just like with long sword fighting, y'all did the sword and buckler, right? Yeah. yeah. He has his ward up high. So as the weapons go up high, you attack the low. Mm -hmm. So step out, push, pull. Now he's pulling oh. back a little bit. Yeah, so, so here, you fight me yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now you let go with your right hand, scoop. Oh. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> wow. All right, here, try it. It's, it's pretty oh, great. Do, do, do it to me again, uh, okay. do it to me again. Like this, and mm -hmm. you're fighting. He's pulling back. And then, yep. and just like that, oh. and down you go. <laughs> now, one of the key parts, which you're automatically doing, which is beautiful. Oh, good. As I step here, and he's pulling back. Yep. When you pick this one up, yep. you turn the wheel, so this goes oh, down. Oh, got it. So that way. Yep. Oh, dear. That, yep, that's the moment. <laughs> right, because from right there, if we were fighting for real, it becomes neon belly, yeah. neon the weapon, and then we would stab with our dagger. Oh, jeez. So, same thing, get to the basic position. So step, push, pull. He pulls back, grab. <laughs> that was good. Pick up, bam, and it's gonna go like oh, that. Oh yeah, because I was turning him clockwise. Right. You're turning him counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, yep. Oh no, you don't. I'm resisting, I'm resisting. Oh no, oh jeez. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was great. <laughs>
Holy cow! <laughs> Once it goes, it that goes. That was great. As soon as I felt you hit, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, the cool thing was like another half, six inches of lift, it would have been his head, not his Ooh. back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, was, wow. I can totally see myself getting too excited and suddenly Brian's like, dead. <laughs> yeah. We got one more and it's right. gonna be very different. I take my step off. As he is pulling back, instead of running with this, I'm going to bring the hand underneath. I'm gonna step in. And I'm going to seize both of his legs. Both my legs. Oh! And wow. do him. So. And then, and then he was what, what, DDT him or? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. So. <laughs> so, I step off. He's starting to go backwards. So as he goes backwards, I'm going to shoot in. Control. Now look, notice I still have a hold of this. Yep. Not gonna get, it's like a rock climber. I'm not going to let go and reach for something. So once I hit here, this is where the pluter hosing come in. Got it. He's down. He's pulling back. See how I naturally want to go with him? Right. So this leg steps in and I reach for his gun. So I go here, like that, like a karate move. So this is almost like an enhanced version of the first one we learned. You, your, mm -hmm. your leg is going around his leg again, but then you're just going all the way in so that you can grab everything. 90% correct. Okay. I'm gonna stereotype for a second. We kind of have this Eastern mentality of wrapping around. Uh huh. So my mentality is you go through it. Uh, got it. So this leg right here. So as I go here, I'm not stepping around his leg. I'm basically knee striking through it. Oh, okay. got it. And so if I'm grabbing you, okay, I, and then my right foot is Round going knee forward, right through his leg, like this. Yep. And then I'm gonna like go, yep. and then take him to That's be it. married. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> so this goes back to like keeping your back straight. Like a deadlift. And engaged. When you were like doing this and trying to like curl. Got it. Keep it like a, yeah. a deadlift. Okay. Yeah. Squat. Yeah. Pull Lift up. with your legs, not with your back. Okay. So like this. Mm -hmm. Step and through. And then, yeah. Like that. <laughs> Done. <laughs> now step in through his leg. <laughs> Uh, whoa, there it is. That's perfect. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do the spin. Come on, man. We practice this. You entered into a problem that happens. Okay. So as I go here, suddenly I'm too close to him. Yeah. So we have three levels. We can go here to the leg. Okay. We can reach across oh, his armpit. Yeah. Or we can go across oh, the God. throat. <laughs> oh wow. Like I said, we divide, we eventually divide the person into three major areas, yeah. right? So as I've pulled him here, if he's like suckered up close to me and I can't reach his leg, I just go under his arm. Oh, okay. wow. And then from right here, I just literally turn <laughs> and that's it. So, you pull. Uh, you oh, no, I just fell naturally. <laughs> Step behind him now. Other leg, other leg. Uh. Yeah. That, was, was, that was level one, though. Yeah, that, was, that was the first one. Yeah. That was a thing. It was <laughs> it's good that it good. came instinctually. Yep. You ready? <sighs> oh, is this yep. Step behind him. Right. Grab one leg. Oh, oh that was yes. good. That was awesome. Ah. I got to get my revenge. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Then step. step. Well, the actually, first one. I just did the first one. <laughs> that was good. God, that's, that's, that's just what comes instinctively. Oh, yeah. <sighs> 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 it works. I'm gonna go with the one that works. Okay. Yeah. As long as that works. But that's it, you don't make a plan, you just go with what presented. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like you stepped, you moved him, your body wanted to move a certain way, do the thing, he's on the ground. Where could people learn more about Ringen? Because probably not from us. Right. <laughs> I've done over a year and a half worth of research just to be able to put all this together. You can come to our school in Moore, Oklahoma, Simbrogi, or you can go to HEMA for All and look up one of our DVDs we'll be presenting this information. That was a blast. Thank I you. I feel like I'm at the very <laughs> Are, are we not going to get to fight? <laughs> no, we're good. I was just playing. It's, oh, no, no. We need, to, we need to do at least one. How's it going? <laughs> it's good. I mean, yeah, I can tell how I, it's going. I, I, I'm just flexing on it, man, at this point. Look, I was never in trouble, but it's like the moment I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't want to be in trouble, so I got ahead of it, and now it's like this thick, luxurious mane. I feel like I feel like I should be the mayor in Zootopia. You know you what? Just just get, go ahead. God, it's go, like... No, get, get in there. It's get like in there. rubbing my fingers through a God Pantene damn, commercial. Right. The best part, I didn't have to go visit no beady eyed doctor. I was able yeah. to do my visit online thanks to our friends over at GetRoman.com slash Modern Rogue. But if you've got any hangups about losing your hair, 
don't worry. They're gonna treat it with the utmost confidentiality. And these are certified by the FDA. They're actual medications, not something you find at a truck stop. Yeah, look, there's real crap and then there's the fake crap. This is the real crap. Probably shouldn't call it crap. Because it's like fertilizer in that it makes things grow. Ooh, that's, uh, I, I, I don't know. Please tell me you caught that off camera. <laughs> GetRoman.com slash modern rogue sign up. Keep us in business and keep yourself looking good with as much hair as you want to have. It's working. Oh. Look. Oh, I'm going to have to get a cut at some point. I don't think you should. I agree. You get hair. More hair than you have. <laughs> the famous tagline, you get hair. <laughs> <laughs> you get hair. You get hair. Everybody get gets hair. hair. Everybody check under your seats. You get hair. You get a bag of hair. <laughs> Let's say. <laughs>